name is Amy and I am an interior designer. I run a company by the name of Amy Elizabeth Designs. You can find us on Facebook or my website at www.amyedesigns.com. And today we are going to be doing kind of a shortcut, a DIY of the famous Andy Sloan chalk paint. As many of you know, that is the big thing right now to paint with the chalk paint. But also what many of you probably have found is that her paint is a bit expensive. It can run um, for a quart about $35. And I, with everything that I work with, with my clients and, and in my business, I like to find different ways to make things cost effective. And sure enough, there is a way to make chalk paint. And it's very easy by just going to Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, today, I am wanting to do a piece uh, that is kind of that antique whitewash uh, table that I'm doing um, for one of my clients. And I kind of wanted to do the chalk paint and I figured I would just make uh, make a video to share with you as how to do this and how easy it is. So I went to Home Depot and I bought antique white uh, latex paint, Glidden, and I wanted it to be a whitewash, shabby chic, kind of that restoration hard, hardware, but I wanted to have a hint of gray in it. So I had extra Sherwin-Williams um, March Wind. So I took the antique white and just put a little bit of the gray paint in it. So it had a hint of that, that gray tone. Um, very easy what you do with that. Once that's mixed, you have that. You take one part, plaster of Paris, and then two parts of the paint, and you mix it in. Very simple. And so I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, the thing with this chalk paint, uh, when you use plaster of Paris, it is not something because it, it hardens um, quicker than uh, other do-it-yourself ways or actually the Annie Sloan paint. Um, you want to use it within the hour or two. It's not something that you can put on the shelf and just forget about and paint your piece next week. So be sure that you're doing it and you're doing it that day. So you go ahead and you take a half a cup of the antique white gray for the whitewash and you mix it or you put it in a container. I'm just using a measuring stick to get all of that out. And then once you get that paint in, you go ahead and you pour. So you did a half cup of that. You do a quarter cup of the plaster of Paris and a little bit of room temperature water and you mix it up. Now, um, the thing with the plaster of Paris, you want it to mix up to the consistency of like um, pancake mix, pancake batter. And once you get to that consistency, you kind of just eye it. You look at the, the uh, plaster of Paris and you put the water in. You keep mixing it till you get to that consistency. The great thing about the chalk paint, it goes on really easy, really smooth, and um, it just leaves a, a really awesome uh, effect of that white wash and antique look that everybody is wanting um, to buy. And doing it this way is a lot, a lot less expensive and more cost effective. And if you go a little bit, if it's a little too watery, you just add a little bit more in and you keep working at it till you can get it to that pancake batter consistency. And once you do that, you mix it up really good. You can see I'm just mixing it. And maybe a little bit more water. Not much. And that's perfect. So then you mix that in. And once you mix this, you mix it in with the paint, and it's just the perfect consistency. Um, it's kind of just like a pancake batter, and it goes on pretty thick. So I am going to, in my second part uh, video, I'm going to show you the piece that I'm working on. I'm working on a coffee table today and I'm going to paint the entire coffee table. And because Plaster of Paris um, is porous, you definitely want to put a wax after it. And I'm going to show that on my next piece 
uh, my next segment. Um, if you put wax on, it seals it. So if you have small kids, like I'm doing a coffee table, if water spills, it'll be sealed. Where if it's just the straight up paint, it'll absorb into, especially if you're using barn wood or, or pallet wood. So really simple, this just goes on like this. And you put it on rather thick. Be generous with it because what you're gonna do with chalk paint is once you put it on, it dries for a couple of seconds, and you think, okay, well, I'm covering it up and I'm just painting it. So what's the point? And you take uh, an old t-shirt as a rag, and you just kind of go over it, slightly wiping off the excess so that it will show the grain of the wood through. Um, they say that oak wood is the best to do this with. This is just pallet uh, wood, so this isn't oak. But still, it just gives you a really nice weathered um, look. And you can see that I've done a couple of other um, pieces. This has the actual wax on it. And that's beautiful. You get your grain. It's weathered. It looks like that very restoration hardware um, type furniture. So that is how you do your DIY paint. Very easy. Plaster of Paris, latex paint, and you've got yourself some Annie Sloan chalk knockoff paint. And I love it. So if you have any other questions, you can just go to my website. Uh, my um, name again is Amy Elizabeth Designs, and I will have my link at the bottom of this page. Thank you. Have a